Hey everyone, and welcome back to Nuclear Throne. I feel like I haven't played YV in a long time. That's probably not true, but I like playing YV, so what can I say? So YV has a higher fire rate and can shoot twice as much ammo at once uh, as an active. For double the ammo cost, like it costs full. Oh well. Uh, and uh, shoots twice as much stuff and has twice as much reload, all that good stuff. Is that a... Oh no, I thought I saw a golden scorpion. I did not. Honestly, I would much rather have the golden revolver than that shotgun. So that's how it's going to go. Perfect. Uh, this is the daily for the 31st, by the way. Rabbit paw for more drops of ammo and health. Just what I need. Oh, God. Everyone calm down. All right. Nice. And there's something going on over here. Perfect. Not really perfect, but like, good enough. Plutonium hunger for a larger pickup radius of uh, health, ammo, and radiation. I absolutely adore this uh, mutation. <clears throat> but I do know that it is not always the best choice. I don't really value YV's throne, bud because it's really, for the most part, a bad thing. Like, I'm already kind of unlikely to use YV's active, but that just makes it even more unlikely. Because it just makes it more wasteful, more reload time, and less likely that you need that much ammo to kill an enemy. And back muscle for more ammo capacity with all weapons. Wow, I should have died there. I don't know why that dude was awake, but, you know. It's cool. Nice. Didn't hit me. I was mostly scared of that. Flame shotgun, that's definitely happening. <clears throat> Flame shotgun's pretty good. Has nice stun on enemies and stuff. Good damage. Just a pretty solid weapon. Whoops, that was close. Alright dudes, honestly I appreciate that. Apparently I can't aim, so that's a good problem to have. Double flame shotgun. Truly I don't think it's worth it, <clears throat> comparatively, then I get eagle eyes and it completely becomes worth it. Which is uh, higher accuracy with all weapons. Of course, for some weapons that's completely irrelevant, but for many it isn't. For a double flame shotgun, it actually makes it better than a regular shotgun, or flame shotgun. Double flame shotgun's definitely better than a regular shotgun. As are most weapons, in my opinion. Is this lightning pistol? Sure, let's go for it. I don't know. It'd work out. But I like being able to use this as essentially a flame slugger. A weapon that would probably be heinous, heinously overpowered if it were to actually exist. Dude, nice. Toxic bow doesn't really appeal to me.
All right. Dang, dudes. There's so many of you. I never give the lightning rifle a fair shake, so I'm going to give the lightning rifle a fair shake. All right, fine. I'll do it. I'll take throne butt. <clears throat> 100% not worth it, but I don't care at the moment. So lightning rifle can actually be used to like shoot around corners and stuff. Has like really long range, decent fire rate, all that good stuff. But it's just unreliable. That's why I don't like lightning weapons a ton, besides the lightning SMG, because it has a high enough fire rate to easily make up for that. Wow, good job, dude. You're just great at this game. Today might not be my day. Double flame shotgun, ahoy. Second stomach for doubled healing from medkits and robots active. suddenly I'm alive again. Alright, if you guys want to not do what you're doing, it'd be awesome. Wow. Hopefully no IDPD have a been, have a been, have awakened was I guess what I was going to say, but have been brought upon us. Oh, that was my fault. I was hoping that the reload would be up by then. I should have grabbed a super slugger and shot that. That would have been perfect. Alright. Uh, anyway. When I was playing YV, that's what I was doing. I was definitely planning on the, um... Double flame shotgun being reloaded, because it would have killed him. I mean, he kind of died to nothing, so <clears throat> anything would have done. It didn't quite work out. All right, well, we got everything, so it's fine. Rhino skin for four more max HP sounds good to me. All right, you die. See, the golden revolver is just, like, good. I appreciate this weapon. Machine gun? No, that's a pop gun. It's fun being able to tell weapons apart by their looks. It doesn't take that long to learn. It's just satisfying being right. Dang it, I didn't want them all out yet. job. <laughs> Disc gun. How silly. Rabbit paw. Sadly more valuable than plutonium hunger. <clears throat> Alright dudes, calm down. Dang it. Stop spawning so gosh darn many enemies. I was trying my best to be able to shoot that thing. Like, all I had to do was find an opening, and I had one shot kill on it. No problem. And it just did not give me an opening. Talk about pointlessly missed radiation. I mean, not that I could have not missed it, but like, come on. At least my radiation was uh, ahead of normal, I guess. So it, uh, it evens out overall. Eagle eyes. Oh dear. Dang. That was pretty intense. Oh. 
Don't know why he was awake. I don't have scarier face. <clears throat> well, that was pretty well handled. Ah, yeah. Look at all these assassins. Wow. Nice job not bouncing, slugger. Black cannon. I prefer the slugger. For that fire rate. Second stomach. Beautiful. But that's definitely a personal preference call. They're both totally good weapons, all that. Double shotgun, not bad. Wow, I keep missing with the double shots. I didn't need that ammo yet. I have eagle eyes. <clears throat> so that's good. Can use that with my triple machine gun. SMG is definitely a better uh, ammo proposition for me overall, though. Cluster launcher. No can do, buddy. All right. Well, I don't have much ammo, but it'll be okay. Yeah, strong spirit. Can't die unless I've already been dealt a death blow. And that recharges when I reach full health. You'll be able to tell because there'll be a halo over me if it'll activate. Halo disappears when it uh, is not able to activate. laser cannon. Nah, not a fan of the laser cannon. I have a need for back muscle. What is the, oh, that's a shell, I guess. I need scarier face now but I can one-shot those guys with a doubled slugger shot. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is looking pretty ugly. I'm just gonna wait for dudes to charge in at me so I don't miss on the radiation and stuff. Should work out just fine. As you'll notice, there are suddenly far fewer enemies to the point where I can safely do things. Awesome. Trigger fingers, even though it's not that great <clears throat> for YV with a higher fire rate. Makes it so that I uh, have a 40% reduction of reload on kill. Which will help. You know, don't get me wrong, it is good. Just less viable with uh, YV's fire rate. If I start having the ability to use my doubling or quadrupling in the future more, then it'll be more valuable. Because those are almost guaranteed to kill something. What is this? Lightning shotgun. Alright, dude's gonna be here soon. Yeah. Play heavy crossbow? It sure did.
Okay, that's what I thought. He doesn't seem to dodge on right click, just on left click. <laughs> so that means that if I right click to attack him, he will not dodge them very effectively. I can easily just kind of ignore him. So heavy crossbow is going to be slower for me than that slugger, but it'll still be good. And I already have trigger fingers, so it'll it'll work out. It'll one-shot a lot of things. And bolt and arrow is a very good mutation if I can uh, come across it. We'll see. <clears throat> And this is most of the reason that you want a high fire rate weapon. So that you don't just die when you enter the labs. Okay. Okay. Ah. How many of you are there? Oh, we're about to have problems. Because I find myself quite out of health. Minigun? Don't mind if I do. I love miniguns. Didn't feel like dropping a bit of health for me. That's fine. That's the last dude. Or not. Thought I heard the sound for it being the last dude. That makes me uh, quite uncomfortable. <clears throat> Does it not count because it blew itself up? Okay, that works too. Destroy a prop. Bloodlust for sure. Chance to regenerate health on kill. One health per kill, of course, is the max. Wow, cool way to not be dead. Well, that could have gone worse. That's a quad machine gun, would you look at that? <sighs> I don't have back muscle and I don't have recycle gland. I would say is most unfortunate. It's the last dude. I wanna see if there's stuff up here. No. So, this minigun's not going to last me very long. Most likely. Oops. Nope. <laughs> it's my backup plan for them when they uh, stop cooperating. See? Works like a charm. It's always 100% under my control how things are going. Life is just a fantastic guy. Ooh, a heavy revolver. Plutonium hunger. Take that because it's more efficient. Even if it's a little slower. So that's, uh, shoots two bullets at a time, does seven damage instead of six. Normally bullets do one per bullet, or three, three per bullet, one bullet does three. So two would do six. So it's just a good weapon. Perfectly accurate even without eagle eyes. And high, uh, high fire rate. So yeah, pretty good. 
Sadly, that's only 1,400 damage over 200 bullets. Which is certainly better than one can normally say. Alright. But, it's still not quite enough. Alright, I'm putting myself in a bad place here. Wow, I should be dead. Be dead as heck. Oh, I guess we're going double shotgun. That sucks. But we're alive. We looped. Very technically. Oh, eyes looked like he was a living IDPD, dude. That hit me. Get your butts out of here. Wow, I should be dead. I will be shortly. Oh, uh, and again, maybe I get a second chance. That's a lot of toxic stuff. Alright, we're recovering. Alright. The way the blood hammer works is if I don't hit an enemy with it, or prop, then I will take damage. I guess that probably would include bullets, but I don't know. Auto flame shotgun. Mark gun's real good. Auto flame shotgun seems like it would treat me better. Problem being, I'm pretty lacking in ammo. I don't have back muscle. I don't know. Guess we'll see. Uh, oh yeah, we can go to the mansion though. Where you get two enormous weapon chests. They give you everything imaginable. Like this lightning SMG? That's mine. Uh... Heavy revolver... Let's see, is there an ultra weapon in here? There has to be, right? There's not an ultra weapon in here. There's a golden laser pistol. I mean, I don't have bolt and arrow. It's probably not worth... Oh, there's an ultra crossbow. Yeah, I'll take an ultra crossbow. Dang, this TV is hardy. Dude, this TV is, like, invincible. Now he's sad. Get wrecked, noob. Was it worth all the ammo I wasted? No, not even a little bit. I didn't think it would take so much, though. I'm glad that YV invests in invincible... invincible TVs. If he didn't, what else would we do? That's how I leave my house, too, if you were wondering. So we gotta deal with YV's mansion now. We do skip all those levels. Yo, golden splinter gun. I need more rads. To particularly effectively use the ultra crossbow. Wow, is it really that weak? Oh, we empty. Dude, this thing is not strong enough. Take a golden splinter gun and whatever else we've got available here. Pop rifle, apparently. Pop rifle is like pure garbage, but... 
That's all right. Everything should already be moderately peppered from uh, my use of the ultra crossbow. This should do much better. I've got two golden weapons right now, I just realized. It's pretty funny. I'll keep whichever one is in my active slot when I die, I believe. Or, you know, whichever one I'm holding because I dropped the other one. Alright, this is looking pretty bad. Yeah, this thing's pretty good machine gun. Where is the dude? Alright, the dude is dead. Oh, there's another dude. Oh yeah, this puts me a big dog. God, I'm so ill-prepared for this. Oh well. We'll make do or we won't. I'll have to work with that. Why are you alive, dude? I like plasma minigun to you for a day. A whole day. Hmm, I wonder if, if I had kept both double or both golden weapons. If actually what would have happened would be that I'd get both of them as a selection, since you get to choose them now. Forgot about that feature, because I never take golden weapons. Devastator was like nerfed, badly. So it's a lot less awesome now. Thanks for swapping. Alright, just need them all to- oh dear. Alright, just keep getting pushed back. That did not go well. Guess I'll take that. <laughs> I have like no ammo. What do you want me to do? What do I do? <sighs> but at least this time it's not because back muscle doesn't get me enough uh, ammo drops. It's because I don't even have back muscle. though. I mean, this is pretty hopeless. You guys don't want to give me any ammo. I'm really not going to be able to do anything. Alright. <laughs> there you go. Still have <clears throat> extremely minuscule amounts of ammo.
Don't even have the mutation to power this up. I am hopeless right now. But if I somehow don't manage to die, I can see the lab's loop boss. Oh, what? It's over. How did, wait, he just went straight through the thing. There was a hitbox right there, and he's just like, nah, I don't care. Go away. You're a loser. There's no way. I must have missed seeing that. But, like, there was a hitbox right where he was, and he just went through, and he did not care. Ah, that sucks. Too bad there was an assassin that was still alive because I couldn't kill him earlier when I wanted to. Oh, well. That, that run had no business surviving that long, so I'm pretty pleased with it. The only reason it did is because I skipped all the hard stuff, which was the uh, sewers, mostly. All right, that is going to do it for today, though. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.